Hey, JC here at JC's Comics More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio. 436 Instagram at JC's Comics and More. And then also website www.jc's Comics and More. This is Monday. We got our books early, so Chuck gets to feed that much earlier. He's having a blast today. He gets to rip open lots of boxes. So he's a happy Chuck. Let's see what we have in this box here for this week. We've got four boxes. This is the heaviest box. This is a 60 pound box. Most of the other boxes are probably 55 uh, plus pounds. So we shall see. I see that uh, Marvel has started. Uh, this is a Defender's Best Defense. This is, uh, I think, a 1 in 25 variant by Art Adams. This is very, very cool. And you can see at the top, they've got the little tribute to stand at the top, 1922 to through 2018. I think this is for me a month's time. Myself, personally, I feel that Marvel should run this the entire year. This should be on there the entire year. Um, and then you've got the first page is black, second page is black, and then you've got a picture of Stan there. And personally... I don't like that you've got black empty pages. This should be filled talking about Stan, talking about his achievements, talking about how he started, just talking about you know about the man himself and shouldn't be you know, it shouldn't just be that. And then it's got a Stan soapbox in the end. Uh, to me personally to me that's from Marvel. This is this is very cheap. If this is your your tribute to Stan Lee you failed. You failed, Stan. Um, I'm sorry. You you failed. Uh, the guy who, along with Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko and Don Heck and uh, Dick Ayers, Marie Severin, uh, so many others, John Basama, John Romita, uh, George Tuska, that helped this company. You failed uh, what they accomplished. But uh, here we got Archie Forever, Betty and Veronica, number one, multiple, multiple covers. Again, we've got Spider Gen, number five. And again, we look on the inside, and there's just nothing. I don't know if they figure that you don't need to, you don't need to have anything. You don't need to talk about Stan, but you do. You need to talk about Stan. Um, I mean, you had a, such a great tribute to. Steve Ditko, and to have this, um, I am I'm deeply, deeply disappointed in you, Marvel. Um, we've got the new issue of GoBots, and this, of course, was Spider Geddon, and it's something that if if this is going to be that, you should still have up here Spider Geddon. You know, I should still have the logo up there. You can have the logo. Um, I hope that's not going to be the case in all the books, that the books are going to be logoless. Uh, I've got American Gods. Uh, this is David Mack cover. I've got Shades of Magic from Titan. New issue of Gideon Falls. This is the cover B, the Hero Initiative cover. And again, if you do see these image books with the Hero Initiative on them, uh, be sure to perhaps pick those up because uh, it helps... Uh, People like uh, you know, in the industry that 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 weren't as fortunate as Stan with the, such good deals uh, that helps them with their uh, their latter years of life and maybe their medical and stuff like that. We've got Exo Man of War. We've got this book here, the Red Chair. Uh, is this the Red Chair? No, it's not the Red Chair. It's Days of Hate, and I hate these covers with the logos at the bottom. I hate, I hate, I hate them. And again, it does seem like they are putting the logos at the bottom. So that's too bad. Uh, I'm sure Stan would probably not be a big proponent of putting and keeping the logos at the bottom. More copies of Spider Gen. You got the 
Captain Universe Spider-Man fighting. He's fighting uh, Maestro. Okay, it's not Maestro, but kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Looks like this is cover A of Burnouts. Got cover A of Old Man Hawkeye. This is the Uncanny X-Men number 7, the action figure variant with the revised uh, blob on the front. I see we got Superior Spider-Man number 1. This, I believe, is one of the titles that is not going to be available this week. This will be available next week. Uh, they sent this week and next week's books together. Uh, they should have, Diamond should have made sure that everything for next week is uh, was in its own box. You should have everything in its own box for next week. But this is this is next week's uh, one of next week's titles. Very very poor week for uh, for comics next week. Over 100 titles. I think I got 100 titles even that are going out on the stands uh, this week. Um, and I've got more than that. 100 about 120 because I've got some uh, comics that I've got just one customer for. Whereas next week eight titles. Eight titles coming out next week uh, there's some of these books that are coming out this week DC for instance has zero titles coming out next week all they have are trade paperbacks but there's some of these comics that they certainly could have put off until next week here we've got the champions annual the last issue before the reboot of this series just in time for Christmas you got Klaus and the uh, the crying snowman Nobody wants a crying snowman. Solo, a Star Wars uh, story, issue number three. And there's nothing over top of the Solo book. Even though it's a Marvel book, uh, there should still be something about Stanley here. New issue of Bone Parish. Again, there's absolutely no reason why you cannot have that logo at the top there. Makes my job that much harder to ensure that people are able to find the comics. You've got the Virgin, quote unquote, Virgin cover of Justice League. Again, you've got the DC logo there. You can put Justice League right there. It's not going to take anything away from the book whatsoever. just in time for their final tour the issue number three one in ten variant for kiss blood and stardust new show rat queens this is the copy that's being set aside for a customer so there's not going to be a copy found uh, on uh, on the rack speaking of racks we've got uh, red sonia cover c by tom mandrake I uh, see I've got the rest of my Justice League number 14 uh, covers. It's a very cool looking cover. And we've got the Claw variant cover for Superior Spider-Man 1, which again, this will be av made available next week, uh, the day after Christmas on the 26th. But yeah. I get to read them now. Got X Force. This is a variant cover. X Force will be available next week as well. Rob Liefeld cover. And again, there's nothing in these books that give any sort of real tribute to Stanley. I'm very disappointed. With Marvel and their lack of respect for for the man. Uh, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is cover A of Urban Legends. Make sure I set a copy aside for customer yeah. Grimm's fairy Grimm's uh, 
Tales of Terror. This is cover B. That's to be set aside for a customer. We have the Sandman Universe Lucifer issue three. Copy that's getting set aside for one of my mail order customers. Let's see, we've got issue number 61 of Batman. Very cool. That's the cover B on that. Uh, I'll have to take a quick look to see. And of course, it's just as I thought it would be. At the end of 60, you see that uh, Alfred was uh, Alfred was beat up by someone. Bruce finds him, and he's like, "It was it was your father." It was the Batman uh, Thomas Wayne from the Button and from Flashpoint. And of course, I knew the book would not start off right there at the as it that it's you don't have to read it, and that's a bit disappointing how they started that. You know, you should be able to pick it up. And it picks up right there, right there, because that's what you want to see. When you get to that last page, that next issue, you want to open that page of that first you know, the, the comic, and you want to see where the action, you want to see where it goes right there. So I'd have to say that's a uh, big uh, big F for uh, Tom King there. Got Uncanny X-Men number 6. Uh, so that's coming out this week. Actually, the Uncanny X-Men 7s that I showed earlier. Those are coming out next week, so these have to get set aside for next week and not on sale this week. Got Go Digger. This is for a poll customer. And you've got a book that was due a year ago, December. John Wick number four from Dynamite. Very, very, very bad on their part. Taking over a year to put this book out. New issue of Steven Universe. You've got a cosplay cover for Red Sonja. Are you all set there? All right, I'll be right with you there. So I'll put this with the other Red Sonja. And I think this is the retailer 1 in 10 variant for the IDW Avengers. So we're going to pause this as I check somebody out. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Took care of a couple guys from Norwalk, Ohio that were down here and discovered my store and certainly loved my store. So hopefully we'll see them once once more. So we have Life of Captain Marvel number five. Of course the movie is coming out this next year. Can't wait to read read that. Uh, so we got Freedom Fighters number one. And at first glance I almost think this is an Adam Hughes or uh, Alex Ross cover. I do believe it's an Adam Hughes cover. Uh, let's take a look on the inside. Uh, cover, cover. Ben Oliver. This is a Ben Oliver cover. Okay. I stand corrected. It's not Adam Hughes. It's Ben Oliver. But looks very Adam Hughes-ish. else we have we got uncanny x-men number six there's the regular cover to that and that storyline hasn't been too bad it's been a weekly storyline so not awfully bad for the relaunch of uncanny x-men Here we've got Infinity Wars. Got the Overmind, who showed up in FF. Uh, gosh, what was it? What was it? One, one twenty, one nineteen, one eighteen, something like that. I can't quite remember, but it's after the the Hulk thing battle in one twelve. So it might have been one fifteen, one sixty. I think that's when it was. And Doctor Doom had to team up and lead the Fantastic Four into battle against him. Got the new issue of Mars Attacks. This is cover A of Mars Attacks. And we've got another copy of the Champions Annual. Now, I must have more copies of Champions Annual someplace. I've only got one copy of each so far. I ordered more of one of each. Crimson Lotus from Dark Horse. And I'd be curious to see 
what kind of Stanley tributes are in there because I'm sure that there's going to be Stanley tributes in some of these other comics as well. And I can't wait to see DC. I'm sure DC will have a very loving tribute to uh, to Stan. Valiant Comics, Live Wire number one. This is cover A. We'll see how that goes. we got James Bond, cover D on James Bond. Here we do have more of my cover. These would be the cover A's on the Champions Annual. So I'm glad to have found at least some more of those. And there's still some more of the other covers still missing. Uh, Hellboy and the BPRD, 1956. Issue number two, uh, but Dave Johnson covered. Dave Johnson always does very superior uh, work. Always happy to see his stuff. DC meets Hanna Barbera, volume two. We've got the new issue of Die, 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 which uh, issue number six, which you can see that there's just two different covers on that. Just about done with this box here. And the, the bell, I don't know if you heard that bell ring. That means, of course, if you uh, do subscribe, you want to smash the bell for notifications. That means somebody else has come in. So uh, that was Spawn. That was uh, an issue of Spawn, the Virgin cover of Spawn. Got regression. It's being set aside for a customer. I've got extermination, issue number five, the last issue of this uh, series. We'll have to wait to read how this goes. But we're going to pause this so I can help the person who came in. Okay, we're back here. We've got from Image, issue new, number two of The Warning. This is not the Queensryche uh, album. But issue number four of Marvel Knights. We've got multiple co covers, copies of that. And there is a connecting cover to this as well. Another copy of, ah, this is uh, Infinity Wars Fallen Guardian. So we get to find out which of the uh, Guardians uh, die. And looking again, the Overmind cover also was a Fallen Guardian. I thought it was just Infinity Wars, but that's a Fallen Guardian's cover as well fantastic four number five this issue comes out next week the marriage of alicia and ben Grimm. so give you a little bit of a sneak peek there you can see some stuff you see mike aldrich did some work on there so i can't wait to actually read this book but we're going to pause this again as other people have come in. Okay, just got a couple other things here. Uh, this is from Albatross Grumble, Grumble number two. So we've got the Nightwing number 55. This has been an interesting story so far. Uh, he's no longer Dick Grayson, he's Rick Grayson. New issue of Witchblade. This is being set aside for a customer as well. And then we've got a, one of the variant covers for Uncanny X-Men number 7. Uh, this will be made available to uh, next week. Venom First Host trade. Uh, I finally got around to seeing the Venom movie last night. Unimpressed. Very unimpressed. Best thing about the Venom trade was the Spider-Man uh, into the Spider-Verse trailer at the end. Uh, I thought Eddie Brock seemed like he was very Peter Parker-ish, but uh, very unimpressed by Venom. Uh, the scenes with Venom was cool. They should just put that together. Now just watch that. But we've got, uh, this is cover D, the photo cover featuring Gene Simmons playing his monster bass. But that's it for this uh, for this box here. We do have uh, several other boxers we're going to be cracking open. And as always, uh, if you like these videos, certainly subscribe and smash that bell for notification. Thanks for watching.